Good morning, uh, Ian Hamilton here and many many people on our uh, YouTube video about my uh, Alzheimer's experience and coconut oil have asked me what I do as far as getting that amount of coconut oil down my throat every day and frankly I did have a bit of a problem because well coconut oil and many people do have a, a reaching reaction so I'm going to show you what I do each day. Okay firstly is my coconut oil I need a blender I'm using a little pot here just because it's easy and strawberries you can use blueberries, you can use raspberries, you can use blackberries, any berry, because berries are wonderful antioxidants, and you notice that their strawberry is very small. Now when you go out to a supermarket, you're very likely to see great big perfect strawberries. Avoid them like the plague, they're hydroponic, they have no taste, they're mostly water and, and short on nutrients. These little guys have been grown in the ground, they're not bush, they're not, you know, a forest ones, but they're as good as you get, and you know the difference in the flavour. And you'll also know the difference in the anti antioxidant effect, which is why we're doing it. Well, actually, not completely why we're doing it, because I'm doing it because it tastes better. <laughs> I did try coconut oil in its own, by the way, and you know, you'd sort of walk around for half an hour later wondering if you're going to throw up. See how many I've used? You can do as many as you like. It doesn't matter. Now comes the coconut oil, and many people have the problem with the coconut oil that is either melted or not melted. Today it's melted. Okay, so it's pretty easy. I'm going one, two, three, four. I'm doing five dessert spoons these days. Um, I found that the dosage has a great deal to do with my mental alertness and because it goes, it basically goes through your system, so to speak. Uh, if you have a, um, see, I'm starting to see. I need my, my coconut oil. If you have too little, you start losing your sharpness. That's how it is. Now, I've forgotten one thing: coconut milk. I'll dive into the fridge for that. Crash! Bang! Bang! Crash! Um, <coughs> Usually everything falling out of the fridge. We make this coconut milk, and the way we do it is we buy shredded coconut, we boil it up, then take it off the boil, leave it for 15 minutes, uh, then we put the blender into it to separate it out the water, and it's two cups of coconut, uh, shredded coconut, three cups of water for, for a good sized batch. Then we put it through a little bag. And then we squeeze the actual coconut milk out. It's wonderful. Varies per brand, and you've got to find out your best brand. I put this in for no real reason except for flavour. Okay? Now that's cold. The coconut oil is warm. The coconut oil is going to start congealing around it. So, what I do in the last thing is add a bit of boiling water. Here we go. To the amount that I really want to drink today. That's all. Finally, this is really why I have it in the pot. It makes it easy. I give it a hand. I doesn't take much. Because I put the boiling water in, the coconut oil is emulsifying beautifully with everything else. Pull it out. And if nobody's looking, There you go. 